गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स पालकाना नमस्कार सो द लास्ट क्लास यू आर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन स्टेशनरी व्यू देर आर टोटली फोर्टीन प्रॉब्लम्स गिवन इन द टेस्ट बुक स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर टेन टू ट्वेंटी फोर यू आर सॉल्व the problems to the number 17 let us today solve the problem number 18 so i will read the problem and write the data what he has given and solve it a pipe open at both the end problem 18 18 solution A pipe open at both the end. So first of all, he has given that pipe is open pipe. Open pipe. A pipe open at both the end has fundamental frequency of six hundred hertz. Has fundamental frequency. Fundamental. frequency n as it is open pipe let us denote it by n o which is equal to 600 hertz let us read further the first order of a pipe closed at one end that means we have another pipe which is closed one closed pipe closed pipe so let nc be its fundamental frequency nc fundamental frequency fundamental frequency see The first over tone of a pipe closed at one end. If N C is the fundamental frequency, frequency of closed pipe say N C one, is the frequency of first over tone. First over tone. The first over tone of a closed pipe. At one end has the same frequency as the top first tone of the open pipe. See, so first tone of open pipe say you know first tone first tone n zero one. You don't know. N C one. That was we don't know. What he is stating: the first order of a pipe closed at one end, that is N C one, is equal to has the same frequency as the first order of open pipe. That means N O one. How long are the two pipes? What will be the length of first open pipe L one? Say as it is open pipe L zero say, as it is closed pipe L C is equal to how much? L C is equal to how much? So we have to determine L zero and L C one. Also he has given. velocity of sound velocity of sound equal to v equal to 330 meter per second so the problem is very simple we have to determine the lo in open pipe the fundamental frequency or velocity of sound is given by v is equal to 2 n l 0 
टू एन एल जीरो टू एन एल जीरो और एल जीरो इज इक्वल टू वी अपॉन टू एन और वी थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी डिवाइड बाय टू इंटू सिक्स टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स हाउ मच सिक्स हंड्रेड और विच इज इक्वल टू वन जीरो थ्री थर्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय वन टू जीरो डिवाइड बाय ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व वन जा ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व टू जा ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेल्व थ्री जा थर्टी सिक्स ट्वेल्व टू जा ट्वेंटी फोर व्हाट रिमेन्स पॉइंट ओके ट्वेल्व टेन जा वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेंटी फोर नाइन रिमेन्स नाइन जीरो ट्वेल्व सेवन जा एटी फोर ट्वेल्व सेवन जा एटी फोर हाउ मेनी रिमेन्स सिक्स ट्वेल्व फाइव जा सिक्सटी ट्वेल्व फाइव जा सिक्सटी और एल जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन फाइव मीटर So we have calculated the length of open pipe. Now we have to determine the length of closed pipe. So we know that velocity of sound in closed pipe is v is equal to four m l c. But fundamental frequency in the closed pipe is not given. In open pipe, fundamental frequency m zero is given. Or you say let us go to N C. It is not given. For that he has given the hint. What he has given N C one is equal to N zero one. What is N C one? The fun the first order frequency of first order in closed pipe is equal to frequency of first order in open pipe. In open pipe. Fundamental frequency order on first order is twice the fundamental frequency. In open pipe, the frequency of first order is twice the fundamental frequency. But in closed pipe, what is M C one? Frequency of first order. Frequency of first order is thrice the frequency of fundamental frequency. Try the frequency of fundamental frequency. Or three m c is equal to two into m zero is six hundred. Or m c is equal to two into six hundred divided by three. Three on the three, three two za, or which is equal to four hundred hertz. So now we have determined. L C. So let us determine L C. Now L C is equal to length of pipe in length of closed pipe. L C is equal to V upon four L C. V upon four L C. Or which is equal to V three three zero divided by four into four hundred. Forty-two, four hundred. Zero, zero goes. <coughs> R which is equal to thirty-three divided by one six zero zero. One six zero. Or if you divide it, we get. Let us divide it by log table. Log of thirty-three. Log of thirty-three. Copy the line here. Mm. 
log of 33 is equal to 1 point 33 under 0 5158 5185 log of 160 2 point 2 point 160 16 under 0 2041 since we are going to divide these two quantities we have to subtract 5 minus 1 is 4 8 minus 4 is 4 1 minus 0 is 1 5 minus 2 is 3 point 2 minus 1 is bar 1 or anti log of bar 1.3144 we get Lc is equal to 3144 and the log of 3144 2062 2062 or we get 0.0 Six two meter. Six two meter. Hmm? Bar one, eh, no? We get point two. Bar one means point two two zero six two, or which is equal to twenty point six two centimeter. Let us solve the next problem. Let us write data. <clears throat> problem number nineteen. Problem number 19. A string 1 meter long is fixed at one end. We have a string which is 1 meter long. Which is 1 meter long. Length of string L is equal to length of string. equal to 1 meter is fixed at 1 end fixed at 1 end the other end is moved up and down the other end is moved up and down up and down because of that transverse waves are set up in the string and this transverse will reflect. The frequency of vibration of string is the other end is moved up and down with a frequency 15 hertz. With a frequency 15 hertz. Due to this, a stationary view is formed. Due to this, a stationary view is formed with four complete loops four complete loops one two three four so four complete loops are formed so but the, this end is free other end is free. So here what happens is anti node forms. Anti node, no anti node, 
एंटीनोड 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 सो लेट लैमडा विद द वेवलेंथ ऑफ द व्यू लैमडा विद द वेवलेंथ ऑफ द व्यू then we know that distance between two successive node is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so distance between successive node and anti node is lambda by 4 lambda by 4 lambda by 2 lambda by 2 lambda by 4 so what he has asked to determine abilla kaade chhi ka hai he has asked to determine find the speed of the progressive view which produce the stationary views which produce the stationary view we have to determine the velocity of the view the basic formula is v is equal to n lambda here n is given but lambda is not given so we have to determine the lambda Uh, but he has given the length of string length of string so from this figure from figure length of string l is equal to lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 4 बिकॉज द लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग एल इज इक्वल टू वन मीटर दे फोर वी इज इक्वल टू एन लैमडा एन इज फिफ्टीन लैमडा विज फोर बाई नाइन फिफ्टीन फोर दिक्सटी बाय नाइन और अगेन वी सिंप्लीफाई इफ यू डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री वी गेट ट्वेंटी बाय थ्री और सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स 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 और विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एज ऑल द क्वानिटीज आर इन एस आउट वी गेट सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड द आंसर गिवन इन द बुक इज सेम ओके लेट एस सॉल्व नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी वायोलिन स्ट्रिंग वाइब्रेट्स विथ फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी अ वायोलिन स्ट्रिंग वाइब्रेट्स विथ द फ्रीक्वेंसी एन इज इक्वल टू फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी एन इक्वल टू 440 हंड्रेड फोर्टी हर्ट्स वट आर द फ्रीक्वेंसीज ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड ओवर टोर फॉर वट आर द फ्रीक्वेंसीज ऑफ फर्स्ट एन वन एंड सेकेंड ओवर टोर A violin is vibrating with a fundamental frequency 440 hertz. We have to determine the frequency of first over tone. First over tone. Second over tone. As we know that string, it in violin string is stretched between two ends. 
string is stretched between two ends. So we have proved that the order is produced if m is the fundamental frequency of string. The orders produced in the vibration of stretched string are integral multiple that is n, 2n, 3n, 4n, 5, 4n, 5n, dash, dash, dash. Therefore, n1 is equal to 2n or n2 is equal to 3n or which is 2 into 440880 hertz or 3n. 3 into 440 or which is equal to 0, 12 to 1, 13, 20 hertz. So simple. 13, 20 hertz. He has given the fundamental frequency. We have to define first order and second order. The basic concept is in violin. A string is stretched between two end points. Frequency produced in the vibration of stretched string are if n is fundamental, 2n, 3n, 4n, 5n. First order, second order, third order, the fourth order. Therefore, n1 is equal to 2n, we get 2 into 4, 40, 880 hertz, or n2 is equal to 3n, 3 into 4, 40, 13, 20 hertz. So let us solve next problem. Problem number Okay, let us read. A sonometer wire, no, problem number 21. A set of eight tuning forks. We have eight tuning forks. One, two, three, four, dash, 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 eight. Arrange this series of increasing order of frequency. If n is the n one is the frequency of first tuning fork, if n two is the frequency of second tuning fork, n three third, n four fourth dash dash n eight. The frequencies of eight tuning forks, but they are arranged in the increasing order. That means n two is greater than n one. Or n88 is greater than n7. Increasing order. Each fork gives 4 bits per second with the next one. That means when these two tuning forks are vibrated simultaneously, when n1 and n2 are vibrated simultaneously, 4 bits are produced. 4 bits. In this four bits, in these two four bits, similarly n7, n4, four bits. That means if simultaneously if two tuning forks are vibrate, as n2 is greater than n1, which indicates that n2 minus n1 is equal to 4. n2 minus n1 is equal to 4. If n1 is the fundamental yeah, first frequency of first tuning fork, n2 is second, n3 is third, fourth like this. Or n2 is equal to n1 plus 4. Similarly, n3 minus n2 is equal to 4. Or n3 is equal to n2 plus 4, or which we can write n2 is n1 plus 4 n1 plus 4 plus 4 or we get n3 is equal to n1 plus 8. So, you can solve this problem by writing 8 frequencies of, you 
can solve this problem by writing all the frequencies similarly. By the same way, M4, you can determine M4, M5, M6. Or N4, what will be M4? M4 is equal to N1 plus. Plus 4 means 12. But it will be N there to write up to N8. N8. What we will do is make it short. N3. N1 plus 3 minus 1 into 4. What do you get? 3 minus 1 into 2, 2 into 4 is 8. Okay. Make it simple. Or N4 is equal to N1 plus similarly. 4 minus 1 into 4 which is equal to N1 plus 12. Similarly, N8 is equal to N1 plus 8 minus 1 into 4 which is equal to N1 plus 7 into 4 which is equal to N1 plus 28 hertz. One single I repeat. As the frequencies are aligned in increasing order, or the tuning forks are aligned in increasing order, N2 is greater than N1, N3 is greater than N2, N4 is greater than N3, similarly N8 is greater than N7. When two tuning forks are orbited simultaneously, four bits are produced. As N2 is greater than N1, we have proved that the difference between two frequencies is equal to the beat, beat frequency. A bit frequency is equal to difference between the frequencies of two sound modes. N2 minus N1 is equal to 4 or N2 N1 plus 4. Similarly, N3 minus N2 is equal to 4 or N3 is equal to this much. We have simplified it like this way. We have determined N8 is equal to N1 plus 28 hertz. But he has mentioned that 4 bits per second with the next one and the frequency of last tuning fork is twice that of first. Frequency of last tuning fork N8 is frequency of last tuning fork N8 is twice that of first N1. Calculate the frequency of first Calculate the frequency of first and last N8. Calculate the frequency of first and last tuning fork. So he has given the hint. What hint he has given? Frequency of last tuning fork N8 is twice the frequency of first tuning fork. N8 is how much? N1 plus 28 is equal to twice of N1. Twice of N1. Or 2N1. 2N1 minus N1 is equal to 28. Or N1 is equal to 28 hertz. Frequency of first tuning fork is 28 hertz. And frequency of last tuning fork, N8 is equal to twice of N1 or 2 into 28 or which is equal to 56 hertz. 56 hertz. So he has asked only two frequencies, N1 and N8. If you ask to intermediate any frequency, if you ask to determine intermediate frequencies, say N4, N5, N6, N7, you can also determine it easily. Or say if you want to determine N5, N5 is equal to N1 plus 5 minus 1 into 4, or N1 plus 4 into 4, N1 is how much? 28. 28 plus 16 or which is equal to 44 hertz. Similarly, you can determine all the frequencies with the use of this step of
23 minutes. Okay. Let's solve next problem. Problem number 22. A solo metal wire is stretched by a tension of 40 newton. A solo metal wire A solar metal wire is stretched by a tension set T1 is equal to 40 Newton. It vibrates in unison with the tuning fork of frequency 384 Hertz. If say we all keep if we keep a tuning fork, if M be the frequency of tuning fork, frequency of tuning fork is equal to capital N say which is how much 384 hertz for this tension for tension 40 newton the frequency of vibration of string say small n and frequency of vibration of tuning fork is capital N frequency of vibration of string small n is equal to capital N because he has stated it vibrates in unison with the frequency tuning fork of frequency 340 hertz how many number of beats per second per how many number of beats get produced in two seconds that means we have to determine number of beats produced per in two second in two second when if the tension in the wire is decreased if the tension in the wire tension in the wire say T2 minus T1 is decreased or T2 is equal to T1 minus how much decreased by so let us read once again if the tension in the wire is decreased by 1.24 newton okay initial tension subjected to the string is 40 newton Capital in the frequency of tuning fork, small in the frequency of string. For this tension, both are same. N is equal to capital N. They are unison, they are already in same frequency. If the tension is changed for tension T2, that is we have decreased this tension by 1.24. That is 40 minus 1.24, or which is equal to 0 0.10 minus 4 is 6, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 1 is 8, 38.0 point newton. For this tension, frequency will change say n2. Say this is n1, say n2. Frequency of vibration of string changes. And because of that, beats are produced. Beats are produced bits are produced. We have to determine number of bits produced in 2 seconds. As the frequency of string is changing due to change in tension, once again I repeat, frequency of string changes due to change in tension. The tension is 38.76. 
but the frequency of 24 remains same and because of simultaneous vibration beats are produced you have to determine number of beats produced in 2 seconds so what if you observe carefully in this case we are changing the tension T1 and T2 and because of that frequency of strings are changing N1 and N2 but other quantities mass per unit length right and length of string we are going to keep, going to keep the constant so according to law of tension N1 is proportional to root T1 and N2 is proportional to root T2 N2 is proportional to root T2 or N2 upon N1 is equal to under root T2 upon T1 or N2 is equal to N1 N1 into under root T2 by T1 N1 is given because N1 is equal to N which is equal to 384 under root under root T2 T2 is how much? 40 divided by how much? 38.76 or 384 root 40 divided by root 38.76 so let us calculate with the use of logarithm log of numerator say log of numerator let us first determine root 40 root 40 is 1 by 2 into log of 40 or 1 by 2 log of 40 is cat 6 is 1 cat 6 is 1 40 is 6 0 log of 40 is 6 0 2 1 or dividing by 2 we get 0 0.801 dividing by 2 dividing by 2 we get log of 40 is 6 0 2 1 Dividing by 2 we get 6 0, 8 0, 8 to the 16, 0, 1, 0. So log of 40 is this much. Log of 384, 2.3804, 38 under 4, 5832. Add it. Log of number. Add them. 2, 4, 8, 3, 3.384. 3, 4. One thing I'll see. 2, 4, 8, 3, 1, 3, 3.384. 3, 3, 3, 4. So lots of different log of determinant. Denominator. Log of denominator root of 38.76. Under root. 38.76 which is equal to 1 by 2 log of 38.76 or which is equal to 1 by 2 log of 38.161 1 point cat 6 is 1 38 under 76 38 under 7 6 7 5 8 8 4 or dividing by 2 we get 0 0.782 huh? what is it? 5884 7 15 18 4 So, law of numerator minus denominator. Log of 
n minus log of d we get log of n is 3.3842 minus 0.7942 0 0 18 minus 9 is 9 12 minus 7 is 5 2.5900 So let us determine anti log. Anti log of 2.5900 or EN2 is equal to 5900. Nine zero three eight nine zero three eighty nine point zero hertz. So the frequency of twenty second tuning for n two is equal to n under t two by t one by substituting we get this much by calculating by the use of logarithm we get n two is equal to three eighty nine n two is equal to three eighty nine. Therefore, therefore, what you have to determine? Beat frequency. Is there anything wrong? Okay. Therefore, beat frequency n2 minus n1 is equal to 389 minus 384 or 89 minus 84 is 5 hertz. Therefore, number of beats in 2 seconds is equal to 2 into 5 which is equal to 10 hertz. Let us solve next problem. Problem number 23. Okay. N1 is given 384. We have determined N2. We have determined 3N2. N2. Which is equal to 389. Subtracting this two, we get bit frequency. Number of bits in 2 second is equal to 2 into 5. That is equal to 10 hertz. 10. Not N. Only 10. Is it in the way? 37. Problem number 23. A sonometer wire of length 0 0.5 length 0 0.5 meter is stretched by a weight of that is tension T is equal to 5 into G Newton the fundamental frequency of vibration small n fundamental frequency of vibration 100 hertz Calculate the linear density of the wire small m is equal to how much? n into g 5 into 9.8 which is equal to 8 5 is a 40, 49 newton. So fundamental frequency of vibration of string is m is equal to 1 upon 2l under root t by m. Squaring both the side, we get small m is equal to t upon 4 n square l, l square. 
फोर एन स्क्वायर एल स्क्वायर स्क्वायरिंग ऑफ द साइड एंड सिंप्लीफाइंग वी गेट एम इज इक्वल टू टी अपॉन फोर एन स्क्वायर एल स्क्वायर सब्सिट्यूट टेंशन इज फोर्टी नाइन यह फोर एल इज हंड्रेड एल इज पॉइंट फाइव और विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फोर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव टेन टू दी फोर टू स्क्वायर इज फोर और विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय हंड वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टेन टू दी फोर माइनस फोर और फोर पॉइंट नाइन ओके रियलाइज फोर्टी नाइन इंटू टेन टू दी फोर माइनस फोर Linear velocity, mass per unit length. All the quantities are in SI unit. Therefore, we get kg per meter. Kg per meter. Next problem number twenty four. The last problem. So length is given. Tension given in the what kg weight? We have to multiply by g. We get it. it Tension will be converted into newton. Kg weight will be converted into newton. M is your hundred hertz mass per unit. Fundamental frequency M is equal to how much? This much. By simplifying, we get or of this quantity. By simplifying, by calculation, we get the result. M is equal to this much. Last problem. The string of guitar is eighty centimeter long. Length is given. 80 सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग एंड एस फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी एन इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व हर्स इफ द गिटार इज विश टू प्रोड्यूस अ फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ वन सिक्सटी हर्स वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज द फ्रीक्वेंसी से एन डैश इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी हर्स वन सिक्सटी हर्स Where should the person present press the string? What will be the length of string or length L dash is equal to how much? L dash is equal to how much? So in this case, we are not changing tension, mass per unit length. So in, with the use of or we can you know to do L L one L one L two L two. Tension is kept constant, mass per unit kept constant. According to law of length, m one l one is equal to m two l two, or l two is equal to m one l one divided by l two. L one one twelve, l one eighty, l two one sixty. Eighty one the eighty two the divided by two five six centimeter. Fifty six centimeter. So we have applied the law of length because tension and mass per unit kept constant. So L one L one is equal to L two. We simplify and we get L two is equal to fifty six centimeters. So by this way. We have solved all the problems which are given in the exercise. So we will stop here only. Let us continue tomorrow. Bye.